Let me ask you a question. If you throw a stone upwards, what will happen? According to your observations on earth, you will probably visualize this scenario and say, oh, first it will go upwards and then after some time due to the earth's gravity, it will fall down. But now I want you to imagine throwing a stone upwards and it never falls back. In fact, it keeps on accelerating in upward direction. And that is how it sounded to the scientists when they found out that the universe is not only expanding, but it is expanding at an accelerating rate. The kind of motion that we have observed could not have been set even by the Big Bang. So something that we don't know about yet must be involved in this phenomenon, or as scientists like to call them, dark energies. The dark energy makes up approximately 68% of the universe and appears to be associated with the vacuum in space. It is distributed evenly throughout the universe, not only in space but also in time. In other words, its effect is not diluted as the universe expands. The even distribution means that the dark energy does not have any local gravitational effects but rather a global effect on the universe as a whole. This leads to a repulsive force which tends to accelerate the expansion of the universe. The rate of expansion and its acceleration can be measured by the observations based on the Hubble law. These measurements together with the other scientific data have confirmed the existence of dark energy and provide an estimate of just how much of this mysterious substance exists. And not only the expansion of the universe, but even the galaxies of our universe seem to be achieving something impossible. They are rotating with such speed that the gravity generated by their observable matter could not possibly hold them together. They should have torn themselves apart a long time ago. And this is same for the galaxy clusters. Scientists believe that there is something that is directly giving these galaxies extra mass, generating extra gravity that they need to stay intact. This strange and unknown matter was called dark matter, since it is not visible. This phenomenon was first observed in 1960s by the astronomer Vera Rubin. She was observing spiral galaxies and was keen to study about their rotation. According to our laws of gravity, the outermost stars and nebulae of a galaxy should move slower compared to the ones that are closer to the galactic center, just like the farther planets revolve slower around the sun compared to Earth. But what she found was something unbelievable. The objects in the outermost layer of the galaxy were moving way faster than they should have. This observation inferred that the gravity from the center of the galaxy to its edges was not declining. In fact, it was constant throughout the disk. But that is weird. Images of the galaxy show that the concentration of matter is higher in the center of galaxy than its edges. So something must be accounting for the extra gravitational force that these objects in the edge are experiencing and it's definitely not the visible matter. Unlike normal matter, dark matter does not interact with the electromagnetic force. This means it does not absorb, reflect or emit light, making it extremely hard to spot. In fact, researchers have been able to infer the existence of dark matter only from the gravitational effects it has on visible matter. Dark matter seems to outweigh the visible matter roughly 6 to 1, making up about 27% of the universe. And now here is a sobering fact, the matter that we see around us, these stars, these galaxies, the galaxy clusters, all this visible matter accounts only for the 5% of the total content of the universe. But now let's talk about what is dark matter. One idea is that it could contain supersymmetric particles. The hypothesized particles that are partners to those already known in the standard model. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider may provide more clues about the dark matter. Many theories say that the dark matter would be light enough to be produced at the LHC. 
If they were created at the LHC, they would escape through the detectors unnoticed. However, they would carry away energy and momentum, so physicists could infer their existence from the amount of energy and momentum missing after the collision. Dark matter candidates arise frequently in theories that suggest physics beyond the standard model, such as supersymmetry and extra dimensions. One theory suggests the existence of a hidden valley, a parallel world made of dark matter having very little in common with the matter we know. If one of these theories proved to be true, it could help the scientists to gain a better understanding of the composition of our universe and in particular how galaxies hold together. So this was it about the dark energies and the dark matter. You can also check out the articles from CERN to learn more about these two mysterious things of the universe. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. Comment down your views about the dark matter and dark energies and the theories related to them. So this was it for this video. Now I will see you in the next one. Too many times has come to pass. Many moments put aside